Hey guys, how's it going today? Griffy Bit here, and today we're going to do something a little educational. I'm going to show you the tricks and tips of what I used to get 11 Megalodon trophies. I'm going to teach you how to become a fishing god. There's no exploits, no cheats. This is how I did it, just grinding and training myself how to do it. So, let's get down into it. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the subs and all the comments. I super appreciate it. I love the community. We're growing ever more, so let's keep that going. So what is the Megalodon Trophy and how do you catch it? The Megalodon Trophy is from the fishing minigame where you need to catch consecutive fish, such as if you catch the tier one fish, then you unlock the eel. And then you catch consecutive fish after the eel, and then it goes to the squid. And then you catch consecutive fish until it goes to the whale, and then you catch the whale and it resets. In order to get the Megalodon, you have to do that not once, not twice, but three times. But here's the catch. You catch it, the whale the first time, you catch the whale the second time, and then you get to the third time when the whale spawns, and then you have to catch other fish other than the whale until the Megalodon spawns, and then you catch the Megalodon, and then the trophy drops. So I'm going to show you what I did and how I collected all 11 of my Megalodon trophies. It's a lot, you only need nine, but I made it so I have a little bit of a fail safe for when new characters come out. Let's talk about how to actually catch the Megalodon. So for what I did was I used this top dock here. Now this top dock, if you can actually get it set up correctly, you can use it as a graph to where to throw your power. You don't need BPM to do this, you don't need any sort of special trick. You just need to have proper positioning. So how I go to have proper positioning is I click on this portal and right before I go into the portal, I click back. You want to make sure that you go past. So this way, when you go into the mini game, see where that rope is lined up? That rope indicates that it's 1.5. So if I go 1.5, it lands right on the rope. So I know that my overlay for my top is good to go. So you see the tiny little lines on the dock here, 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 and here. These are going to be your indicators for what number of power that you want to launch. So for instance, the one right close to the rope is going to be a one. The one to the right side of the rope is going to be a three. The one right in the middle between the, the best is going to be four. A little bit further ahead is going to be 5. The other dash is going to be a 6. And the edge of the dock is going to be a 7. You need to realize that 7 will not take you to the whole cross apart of the water. Remember that. So, let's take a look at this. If we take a look at the fish, the fish is not sitting on the dash. But I can tell that in between the two of the four and the three, it's going to be three and a half. Now remember, fishing minigame works in quadric. So what I mean by quadric is it goes quarter, half, three quarter, full. So since I know it's going to be three and a half, I can measure it out three and a half. But see, I missed because I went too far. Now, it resets, that's okay. If it resets, that's fine. You can miss but you will reset back to the start before you summon it. So you see that it's in between one and a half and in between three. So I want to hit it at a two. And then I just tip the hit. It's okay if you're slightly off, as long as you have it mostly in line with what you need. Now we can see that this is not perfectly aligned with this, so it's not going to be a five. So we can go ahead and use the tip of the parasol to instantly give us an indicator that this line is four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So then we're going to hit it at a four and a quarter. Boom. Perfect. Now, once we start getting a little bit more, I'm going to skip ahead and show you how to catch a moving fish. So now we're at a section where we have a moving fish. Now, ideally, what you want to do is when you're getting the fish, you want to make sure that you're going for the closest one. You're not going for points, you're going for Megalodon Trophy. But 
as the fish go up in tier, it is easier to catch. So we know it's gonna land on a three. What I would say for a big tip ideally is if you see a fish that's lining up with your marker, always go for that fish. Never try to do quarters, never try to do halves, only if that is last resort. So the fact that we see it lining up with a three, we're gonna line it up with the three. Perfect. See how that bobber lines up right with the three. So this is going to give you a clear indicator of what you need to do in order to hit it. So we can see that it's getting really close to the three, but it's not quite there, but it's getting really close to the one and a half. So we're just gonna give a little bit of pep and we're gonna hit it with a two. And look for that drag. See that drag right there? That drag will line you up every single time. Anyways, guys, that was just a quick tutorial. A little bit, just give you guys a fighting chance because I know Megalodon is a pretty big deal in Eidolon. And I just want to show you how I was able to do it. I got all my Megalodons on stream. I think there was only one that I caught off stream. So you know that it's legitimate. You know that it's real. And uh, just have fun with it. And if you liked the video, we found it helpful, rewatch it to make sure you know what you're doing. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I said in my last video, if we get to a thousand subscribers, which is a big number, I would do a Plinko Part 3 to try to get that Notorious Red Hat. So anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, tune in next week when I do another Eidolon video. But until then, happy fishing, peace out.